During the FMS CDU preflight, position, route, and performance information is entered. This part, we will cover position and route entry. There are a series of pages associated with the preflight sequence. Preflight begins with the identification page and is completed when the appropriate information is entered on succeeding pages. The flight crew is directed through the sequence by a series of prompts in the lower right corner of each page. Pushing the line select key displays the next page in the pre-flight sequence. Let's take a look at each page in detail, beginning with the identification page. The identification page identifies the information stored in the FMC. Pushing the initialization reference function key displays one of the initialization reference pages. From any initialization reference page, Pushing the index line select key displays the initialization reference index page. Pushing the ident line select key displays the identification page. These lines identify airplane model, engine type, operating program, drag factor, and fuel flow factor. These lines are not changed by the flight crew. The FMC contains two sets of navigation data, an active and an inactive set. The dates identify a 28-day period when the databases can be used. In this example, the active set is valid from January 27th through February 24th, 2000. December 30th through January 27, 2000, has expired and is invalid. To make the inactive set active, enter the inactive dates into the scratch pad, then line select the scratch pad information into the active line. Notice that the October 22nd to November 18th data is now active. Question. Answer C is correct. The position initialization pause init page is the next page in the pre-flight sequence. Pushing the lower right line select key displays the pause init page. Attitude and longitude must be entered in the set IRS position line. There are many different ways to enter the aircraft's latitude and longitude. Atlas policy is to enter present position using the GPS position if valid. Compare GPS position to confirm validity. If the comparison is reasonable, enter the GPS position into the set IRS position line. If GPS position is not available, use the next most accurate coordinates in this order of preference. Gate or ramp coordinates. Reference airport coordinates. Finally, manually compute and enter your coordinates in the set IRS position line. Don't forget to write the chosen coordinates on the master flight plan. Line selecting the entered position to the set IRS position line sends the position to the IRSs. This information is used as the initial position for navigation. The first line of the pause init page is the last position calculated by the FMC. The last known position may be entered into the set IRS position line. Entering an airport identifier displays the airport position. The airport position may be entered into the set IRS position line. 
With an airport identifier entered, gate or ramp coordinates may be manually entered into the set IRS position line. FMC displays the present position on the last position line when the first IRS enters the navigation mode. When all IRSs are in the navigation mode, the set IRS position blanks. The Pause and It page also displays the FMC time titled UTC. In this case, GPS in parentheses indicates the global positioning system is the source for the time hack. The FMS CDU normally receives time from the GPS. If the UTC is displayed with MAN in parentheses, Time is being received from the captain's clock. Blanks are displayed when clock information is not received. Question. Answer C is correct. The next page in the pre-flight sequence is the route page. There are two ways the flight plan can be entered. The flight plan can be entered one line at a time by filling in the boxed and dashed lines. Or it may be entered all at once using the company route line. The company route line will be discussed later. Let's now load a typical flight plan. The origin and destination are entered using the four-letter ICAO airport identifiers. The flight number can also be entered. The takeoff runway is entered under Runway. Normally, Runway is selected from the Departures page. The type of route is entered under VIA. In this example, we'll use a direct route and an airway Victor 2. Route waypoints are entered on the right under 2. Victor 2 will be flown to Ellensburg. The next page key allows entry of more route and waypoint information. Once the route has been entered, pushing the Line Select key adjacent to Activate prepares the entered flight plan for execution. Perfinet, Performance Initialization, is displayed, prompting the flight crew to the next page in the pre-flight sequence. The Execute key light also illuminates. Pushing the Execute key makes the entered flight plan the active route. Active is displayed on the page title and the execute key light extinguishes. Let's now discuss how to add a standard instrument departure or SID. To add a SID, the pre-flight sequence is modified by pushing the departure arrival function key. If the airplane is on the ground with an active route, pushing the departure arrival key displays the departure page for the origin airport. Standard instrument departure procedures are listed on the left side of the departure page, and the runways are listed on the right. The runway is selected. Select is displayed to the left of the selected runway. The available SIDs are displayed and the execute key light illuminates. The selected runway is also displayed on the route page. When a SID is selected, select is displayed to the right of the selected SID and the available transitions are displayed. Transition is selected. Select is displayed to the right of the selected transition. 
the other transitions are no longer displayed. Having selected the VAMPS transition, the departure routing is now complete. Selections can be erased any time prior to execution. The Erase Line Select key returns the original display and the Execute key light extinguishes. The Route Prompt enables the flight crew to return to the Route page. The letters MOD at the top of the page and the illuminated execute key light indicate the original route has been modified by adding the departure procedure. Notice that the runway and SID transition are displayed on the route page. Pushing the execute key incorporates the runway and departure procedure into the active route. The letters ACT are displayed at the top of the page and the execute key light extinguishes. Question. Answer A is correct. Question. Answer C is correct. 